Hey everybody, they really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Rain de Fleur along Gieslon's route. And Gieslon took us to his special place that he stops at on every horse ride that he takes, which is quite lovely at night. And he uh, took us here to just to uh, chat, and hopefully we'll have a date afterward. Well, you know, we gotta do Ravi, of course. And then hopefully we'll have a date afterwards, as that's how things usually go. So let us begin our battle of wits. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. After looking at his face, I slowly opened my mouth. And it begins right away. No time to waste. Winner condition. Tell him your honest feelings about Hubert's decision, and when Gizlan prays for you, purposely fail when he tells you not to pretend to be strong. Ah, uh, to purposely fail as a condition. But, oh well, that's what we shall do. I shouldn't talk about what Suma Benny told me, so what can I say now? Actually, I have one matter that I would like you to listen to. I have been having strange dreams these days. Dreams? I heard the Hanabito never dream. Yes, I dreamed for the first time after the first ceremony. I was very surprised. I can't remember the specifics, but ever since then, strange things have been happening to me. Sometimes, I realize a few hours have passed, or suddenly lose time. I have even been hearing things that are not real. I see. No wonder you look worried. Yeah, anybody would be worried with something like that happening. Let us have a meeting with all of the knights to discuss this situation as well to solve the issue. Sounds reasonable. Uh -huh. Let us return to the mansion. I'm going to gather all the knights. H hold on. You don't have to do that. Hubert told me that I shouldn't mind it. And you're going to trust Hubert? Trust Gislan, he's smart, I think. His ideas all sound good to me. What? Did the Prime Minister say that? Yes. He said if you are deep in thought, these things can happen. It is strange for him to play off such an unusual change in the reign so simply. I think he does not believe it is actually strange. Even so, something doesn't feel right. Follow these instincts. That's what you do as a soldier, right? What do you think of Huber's decision? I feel... Huber's decision is... Uh, right or severe, and I am choosing severe. Hubert is always easy on me, but as Prime Minister, he is a very severe person. It is natural for him to choose to proceed with the ceremony after noticing my change. Do you really know what you're saying? Yes, because I am the rain. I always know what I'm saying because I'm the rain? That's not what you usually say, you always want to be straightened up by Gizlon. As you already know, my behavior could change the fate of the land. Certainly it is important to put your feelings aside in order to complete the tasks. But does that also mean that you have to abandon being yourself? Ugh. Being a rain and being just violet as an individual. They should not be in conflict. Gizlon, I didn't expect to hear such words from you. My past self wouldn't have said that. But I am actually going through the same thing. What? There are certain things I can't say as a knight, but there are things I can say as an individual. Now that sounds unlike him too. That's what I meant. So, is he worried about me regardless of his position? Yes, obviously. Don't be so quiet. Do you disagree with what I had to say? No, I don't. Thank you, Gizlan. Yay! More points. Even though I had a hard time telling him, I feel a little better now after all. You just make me feel better. I'm glad that you brought me here. I just listened to you. That's all. We haven't figured out what is causing you to have these strange dreams. We may want to discuss this with the other knights. Well, we should. But I don't want to distract them before the ceremony tomorrow. Never mind that! We gotta talk about it! Don't delay! They're always delaying in this game. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Don't you know, tomorrow never comes, as my mother always says. Then, we can do that after the ceremony. We will have a meeting anyway. 
How would you feel if one of the knights was having the same issue and keeping it to himself? Well, I would... That's what it is. We are not just individuals gathering together. We are a team, all bought here for the same purpose. You should think more about their feelings. Gisla may be feeling the same way I felt when I heard the story from Sumu Benny. How ironic for him to bring this up, even though he is not aware of what I heard. What's wrong? No, I just felt that what you said was true. Then why aren't we listening to him? I understand, Gislan. I will do as you say. But, it's been quite a while since we started having these ceremonies. Its effects are stronger than I thought. Ugh, do you feel any changes in yourself? Why are you scrutinizing me? It's not like that. No different than the others. If you noticed, the other knights must have been feeling certain changes as well. Uh, Even that idiot Leon just stares at this guy with a serious expression on his face. And Orpheus seems to have more worries after each ceremony, especially about the toll it takes on you. Really? I imagine poor Orpheus must have grace taken out of his country more than anybody else's. It seems to flourish more than the rest most of the time. About Louis, his butterfly seems to have become more strict with him. Why? Who knows? But the butterflies move under the instruction of the Prime Minister, and he is simply a suspicious man. You can say that again. Violet, do you remember what I told you before? I talked about whether or not we knights can maintain our composure throughout. No matter how much we try to be equal, when one repeatedly exploits the grace from the same country as the water mirror indicates, we can expect the knight to break down from the intense pain. I wonder if he realized at all that he was experiencing more pain than the... No, apparently he doesn't experience it. I mean, he probably doesn't realize it, but does he actually think he can endure the pain more than the other guys can? Considering this, are you able to bear it? That's what I worry about. I remember... The changes may not necessarily show in our bodies, but in our minds as well, which is more important. Perhaps we are becoming numb from the ceremonies as we become accustomed to them. Do you really feel fine with all of this? That is what I want to know from him. But... I am or you are and we have to choose... Oh no, what did we have to choose? I'm losing it. Um, X. Which is I. I'm fine. I'm not pretending. I really am fine. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm just fine, that's all there is to it. I can deal with it. I'm the rain, I'm strong. I'm a proud, independent woman. Because you are here by my side, just like now. <laughs> Look at him blush again. What's that? I have a person who cares about me and listens to my worries. If anything were to happen to me, you would quickly take notice. I firmly believe so. <laughs> Look at those eyes. Can this be a reason? Who can say no to that? You are such a cheater. <laughs> I'll do whatever I can to get into that heart of yours. Violet. Yes? I am not sure this is a proper thing to say, but... You're doing well. Gislan. Most of the people on the land may not know of your efforts. I... well, we know, so don't be worried. Uh, in this situation, his words almost make me cry. Gislan is the one who should be crying. I can't even imagine his pain. I... I'm so powerless. What's wrong? Do you have any other worries? It's nothing. Your face says you have something else on your mind. If your mind is not clear, you may even fail in the ceremony from a lack of concentration. Ugh. Stop it! Even if it's a joke, don't say that I will fail. Ugh. Hey! What's wrong? You're acting weird. N no Nothing. Are you going to tell me that you can't talk about it? I want to tell him if I can. I can't tell him that it is meaningless to transfer Grace into his country. I'm sorry. I can't say it. I see. I understand. Then, talk to someone else. 
Like Orpheus or Leon if you want to. Uh, I thought you could count on me more as a knight. Hold. Should I say something? Should I stop Gislan or... Ah, uh, buttons. Uh, da, da, da. Oh yeah, that's right. Never mind. I don't even have to worry about the buttons because I have to fail. That's part of the prerequisites. I have to fail. That's so hard to not push the buttons. <laughs> no, I can't say anything. I don't have the right to stop him now. I can only come up with excuses and consolation. That would only bother Gizlan, as he is such a proud man. And I still win Revia. Little tiny bit more love. I could only stare at Gizlan's back as he heads toward the carriage. Uh, is he gonna leave me here? He may have noticed me watching. Gizlan turns back to me with a sigh. No excuses. Now you know better. As long as I can't tell you the truth, excuses would just be meaningless, wouldn't they? Then it's fine. Huh? I prefer to have silence than to listen to a woman's excuses. And telling everything doesn't mean that you trust the person. I believe in you. That I have at least your trust, and you are not hiding any bad intentions from me. Ah. <sighs> His words are gently carried into my heart, as if on a mild breeze. They wouldn't have reached my heart if it was anyone else. Oh, So we already- It seems like Violet already totally recognizes the fact that she's in love with Gizlon. Well, of course she probably doesn't, but she should because that's pretty definitive to me. Especially since she said it wouldn't have worked if it was anyone but Gizlon. Because it's Gizlon. I will determine whether or not you are worthy of being responsible for this world. Because he was the one that told me those words when we met for the first time. Thank you, Gislan. And there we end it with a thanks. And hopefully next episode we'll get the date. Come on, Gislan, let's get all cuddly. And don't go all psycho on us in the middle of it. Pretty please, pretty please. <sighs> you know, I was thinking... Music soothes the savage beast, and I was thinking maybe Orpheus's harp playing could help calm Gizlon. I don't know, maybe they'll have to take part in things later, which would be pretty cool. But obviously the piano isn't enough to do it because he rages when he plays the piano. But I think Orpheus's harp is a different uh, thing because Orpheus is actually a musician. But I guess we'll come to see that sooner or later, if that actually does make a difference in things. I hope to see you in my next video or in some of my other future ones. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.